uh, back in action again very quickly, Mario. These games are coming thick and fast, aren't they? Yeah, there was, um, you know, there's a few tired legs today. There's a few little niggles, but um, all looking forward to it. Um, you know, I'm, I'm confident that there'll be no more injuries from uh, from Saturday. I think we'll, we'll still have the same sort of squad to select from um, come tomorrow. So um, yeah, everybody's everybody's raring to go again. And um, as I say, it's it is coming thick and fast. The rain's starting to come now. The grounds will be getting heavier. You know, Saturday was heavy, but. Every team's got the same schedule, so um, it's something we've just got to deal with and get on with. Yeah, and with, with these games coming thick and fast, um, does that give you players, you know, at, at the start, some kind of consistency to their game? Yeah, I mean, as I said earlier in an interview, we've we've still got a relatively uh, new squad. Some of the players joined us quite late, you know, people like Akil, uh, Brownie. So um, as many games together as a group. As long as we're not playing more than anybody else, I think will benefit us um, getting getting that uh, team to click. Uh, you know, it's it's already there's already been great signs. There's already been signs of uh, what we can achieve and what we you know how how good we hopefully can be. Certainly, second second half against Chorley, certainly felt spells in the first half uh, against Farsley. Um, obviously, the two pre-season games uh, we've showed sort of how we can grind things out a little bit at Rylands and in. in in a difficult game but on the other side of it there's, there's still things we need to improve on with communication um, in and around in and around the box both boxes um, can, can can certainly improve and that's that's just what you've got to work on every day yeah, and um, obviously the, a new set of sort of defenders um, in your squad uh, this season um, against Farley Sean Newton with another goal defenders seem to be really attacking is that something you sort of encourage them to do in training yeah I think it's 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 a bit more natural to Newton than probably any other defender because I think he's a little bit unique in that respect. Uh, he's probably played more positions than than, than your usual centre halves. You know, I've, I've seen Newton play left wing, left wing back, left back, centre midfield. So um, you know, Saturday's goal probably more so shows you what we what we try and use Sean like um, supporting Scotty down the left. Great little ball inside, great bit of link up, and you know, I don't think. Anybody needs reminded what he can do with his left foot when he gets a chance. So yeah, uh, you know he's 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 been vital to us um, since the day I arrived, really. But um, you know another another important goal Saturday. Yeah, obviously Charlie tomorrow a team you only played seven days previous. Are you expecting a, a different side um, to what you faced um, last week? I don't know. Um, that's the honest answer. We can't uh, we we can't really try and second guess what they're trying to do. All we can do is set up. To win the game, you know, it's not a game that um, it's not a, not the type of game that you can set up and sit back and try and hold on hold on for anything. It's an FA Cup tie, and you want to go and win the game. So that's all we'll be focused on, as I'm sure that's all Charlie will be focused on. Yeah, and what's the sort of aim with the FA Cup this season? Obviously, it was first round last season. What, what's the goal? Yeah, I mean, it, it it has to be. You know, we we have to start. Uh, we have to look at trying to get as far as we can. You know, try, ideally, trying to get to the. To the third round. I mean, it's it's a it's a big ask for teams at our level, but it's doable. You know, we we, we got there with uh, we got there with Gateshead and had a really good. Uh, we, sorry, we got the second round with Gateshead had a really good tie uh, against Luton. You know, TV game earned some good revenue for the club, um, and I suppose that would be a spicy one if we drew Luton. <laughs> but um, no, we we, we want to try and get as um, as far as we can in, in the FA Cup, and we in, in your dream, I suppose, at this level is to try and. Try and make it the third round, but um, massive hurdle to overcome tomorrow night against a, as you saw the other night, a really strong, resilient, athletic, uh, trolley side, and I'm expecting an equally tough game. Yeah, and just finally, is there any update on Robbie Tinkler? Or was he unavailable last minute for the Farsley game? Um, not expecting Robbie to travel tomorrow. Hoping, um, I think taking him would be a little bit irresponsible. Um, probably putting him at risk of of doing it worse. Um, so I think we're just trying, going to have to bite the bullet on that one and, and focus on trying to get him fit for Brackley. Nice one for you.